We have a few things just right on our records, and they're awesome. No, they're awesome. And we're unboxing them. Oh, okay, okay. We're missing somebody here. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not weak. You're not There's weak no either, either, Mom. Oh, man. She's going for I'm on my own. She's going I for the world's air. fastest unboxing. That's what she's doing. Who's going to be first out oh. of the box? I got, I got one right. out of the box. That's right. They're all out. Uh, Santa, what you working with? I am working with Cage the Elephant. elephant. I had to <laughs> tell me I'm pretty. Come on, Santa. Tell me I'm pretty. You're pretty. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you working with? CCR. CCR. Best damn album you could ever possibly have right there from Creed Clearwater Revival. Ah. There you go. You got another cage the elephant. I do, yes. You doubled up. Doubled like, up. Uh, you know. I got Double lots down. of CDs. Yep, yep. We're going to have to do a flip through with these CDs because I ordered in 10 tons of CDs. And they're starting to finally show up. Princess Peach. Ah, nice. I don't know his name, but he's cute. Yoshi. Orange Yoshi. What the heck is that? Oh, the Strokes. Oh, the Strokes. It's been a while. You got to hold it up. There yeah. you go. Yep. Yeah. The nice. New Normal. I'm kind of like the New Normal, aren't I? Does everybody agree with this? I mean, for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'm pretty and I'm normal. Pretty and you're normal. There you go. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Everybody's agreeing with me. That never ever happens. Nope. Ooh, right, ooh. Saxon. Saxon. Very cool. Denim and leather. That's right. That's right. Bouncing soul. Oh, volume two. Oh, cool. Do we have a volume one? Yes. Yes, they do. It's called the Bouncing Souls. The Bouncing Souls. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I got Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. What? This is in the exclusive. Oh, this is. Oh, yes. on defibrillator clear vinyl. Yes. Twitching tongues. I have Ken. Ken. I have to do a review of this. Twitching tongues. <laughs> of what? <laughs> oh, today? Yeah, I'll do it today. All right, all right. Maybe we'll put it even before this unboxing. Whoa. I don't know. Oh. Maybe it'll be after. Under pressure. Just so we can get a solid video in today. You yeah. heard it here first. Ah, nice, nice. That's indie exclusive. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's tricolor. Ah, that's live. She was live. All right, now she has the good stuff. We love how they package. It's kind of unusual because yes. all these boxes feel super light. Twenty one pilots. What are you thinking of twenty one pilots? Tell the truth. You can tell the truth. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, rating one through ten. Six and a half. Negative nine. No. Look at this. This twitching tongue album is bigger than a uh, normal record sleeve. Mmm. Shona's favorite. What is it? Slayer. Oh, my Twenty-one God. pilots. There you go. That's a decent one too. Listen, I I'd give that twenty-one pilots, and I did listen to it on CD. Yes, a lot. I give it a six. I that give that one? one a seven. Yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely just that little. Yes. It's a different vibe. I'll tell the truth. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Cool. Excellent stuff, of course. Slayer. Slayer. I like this one. Oh, oh, this one's like a nine. I do give that one a nine. Definitely give that one a nine. I don't know who it is. Santa. Cause for conflict. What you got? I got um, King Crimson. King Crimson. King Crimson. Always Gorgia. Yeah. And this is the indie exclusive as well. Yes, it is. Very, very cool. Still going. Ah, what was it? I don't even Cause know. Cause for conflict. Cause for conflict. And then Stevie Nicks. Ah, somebody must have hit the button for that one. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who it could be. Uh, what do you got there? Me. Creator. Creator. Okay, Creator. It is. Creator. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah. We are we are new release hunting. Oh, okay. And that could be a new release. I was excited for my ice nine kills. <laughs> ah, Bohemian Rhapsody. Very, very cool. Glad to see it back in stock. Easy come, easy go. Yes. Nice. That's right. That's right. And you got Transpotting. Transpotting, yeah. Which is a hell of a soundtrack. Brian Eno, New Order, Iggy Pop. Can't beat that transpotting. No, you can't beat Credence. No, you can't beat Credence. I don't know. I don't know what I'd put up against Credence if I had to. For for a greatest tough. for a greatest tough. hits album. Yeah, it'd be a hard one. I mean, it is a great greatest. Let me know down in the comments who you'd put up against Credence that particular greatest hits album because every song on there is just epic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean you're not beating it. 
Oh, Sue's that cute? Yeah. This has to be my number one favorite album of all time. It's one I can always I put like on it. and listen to. That's That's guaranteed. Sure. It's yeah. camping music. Yep. It, it brings back the good memories for me, and I'm mm -hmm. sure it does for millions of other people as well. Ah, oh, working with the Green Day. Yeah. Very, very cool. I don't think I have this one. International super hits. You got to get them while they're hot. Yeah. There's a bunch of good stuff. So when you see them, that's when you grab them. That's a good song. That's right. If you didn't join our live stream yesterday, Black, Black Label Society. Yeah, we got two of those. Uh, two different ones. Yep. There, there, should, there should be plenty more. Still going. Nice. See, another Black Label Society. Very cool. They just re-released pretty much a lot of their catalog, which is awesome. Yes. Another Black Label Society. Santa's got the good stuff. Oh, well, man, but you're working with Slash and Scorpions. Mr. Bungle. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. Very, very cool. That die cut. Cool. I like Sonic that. Brew. Sonic Brew die cut. I like it. Interesting stuff. What you got? CCR. More CCR. Yes. Bayou Country. <sighs> Where's Willie and the Poor Boy? Willie and the Poor Boys is coming up, I'm sure. See, more Black Label Society. There will be a flip through. Just saying, and most of the stuff is available on spinmearoundstore.com. But if it's not, it will be sooner or later. So just hang in there or ask us to put it online. And we eventually will. I thought the box was empty. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind is of there one record? There's three. Oh, They're three. Really thin. What is it? Uh, Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine AFC Kills. released this. Very cool. Where's Khalifa? Should mm -hmm. be six of them. Nice, nice. I'm going back by Santa Man. He got the good stuff. Yeah, more Black Label. More Black Label Society. Yeah. There was a time where you couldn't get these suckers in, and it was for about 10 years. But now, finally got a perfect circle. Ha ha. Oh, more. That's right, that's right. That one's Mafia. Very cool. All right, I'm intrigued. What you working with? Nice nine kills. Oh, that's upside down. That's cool. Yes. Now, have you listened to this on CD? No, I haven't actually. I, I bet I know something. Yeah, Nature of the Beast. That's a good song. Okay. Cool. Hell no, always have lots of Still working with Black Label Society. Still with that, yeah. And then you got the good old yep, white, white zombie. zombie. Upside down. Nice. She's still pulling out a perfect circle. But why is it a square then? I just don't get it. Maybe it's too advanced for me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love these things. This is normally like one in a box. <laughs> what you got? Wiz Khalifa. Okay, what else? Oh man, it could just be Wiz Khalifa. Oh, no, no, no. The Eagles. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Very cool. At the Forum, 76. Yes. And she got something else in there. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Three. Very cool. Yeah. Boom. More credence coming out the boxes, of course. See a black label? Ah, more of these skull heads. They are cool. I like it. I like it too. I think it's pretty badass. What you got below? <laughs> nice, nice. Just making my life easier. <laughs> Popping bubbles. I love it. Okay, Sandy. Looks like you got something different here. Yeah, finally. What you working with? Ooh, what is Childish Gambino. Gambino. Wow, I haven't seen that one in a hot minute. I know. Man, it looks like more, uh, oh, what's this? Oh. What is that? I don't know. Stuff said she ordered in for somebody else. Oh, okay. So maybe leave that, uh... Well, no, I, ha I have more in the back. Oh. She ordered it from everywhere. See, see, see how fast it would get here from who first. You know, it was like a race. That one lost. All right, she got a bunch of little packages in here. We have no idea what's in here. What's in that thing? She's going to be working with Credence oh, for a minute here. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, and look how they packed it. Very professional. Oh, oh what is it? Nice, nice. It's just a CD oh, box set. It's a CD. And a Very figurine. Cool. Thank you, Ingram. You packed it the best I've ever oh, seen it packed. That's a figurine. Ah, Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Very, very cool. And, of course, you got to have Queen's Greatest Hits. If you're oh, gonna, of course. You know, Queen's Greatest Hits... Versus that, I'm still going with CCR. I'm still going with Credence on that too. Just this saying. This is a good record though. But uh, a, a hell of a record. But uh, yeah, I have to go with it. That's a top 10 too, in my opinion. <laughs> and then you got something we haven't had in a very long time, but they're finally back in stock. Oh, Kids see ghosts. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. <sighs> you want to go through those CDs? 
Hold on. <laughs> Two full trays. And a stack that Rihanna just brought over. And she's like, good luck to you, ma'am. Because I don't want to read them. As I drop a box on the ground and dent it's it up. It's fine. <laughs> Man, good help. I wish I could put these one direction. You know what it is, Sam? Think out the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it was. And maybe going back and it's a, oh, it's an Iron Maiden box set. Very cool. It lived. It lived. It's in 100% good shape, right? Yep. Show all the corners. Yeah, no, I don't see nothing wrong with it. That was a pretty secure box. Yes. You got lucky. Look at that, all the creams are facing the right way too. Look at that. Uh oh, uh -uh. no, Spoke too no, soon. Yep. I'm still facing the right way. That's the normal thing. Now if you want, oh, you got another box. It's cool. CDs. All right. So there's no way to avoid you going through some CDs too. Ha ha. Now if one of you would like to get this together so I could go through these CDs, it would probably help. Go a lot faster. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. You got to flip them up a little bit, yep. This way, Bowie, yep. One Direction, Alice in Chains. Uh-huh, it's upside down, but Psycho, yeah, love yeah. it. <laughs> Become the Hunter. All right. Suicide Silence. Um, Yargway. Yeah, One Direction, Enslaved, Boston. Van Halen and One Direction. All right. Chevelle. Nice. Yeah. An awesome cover. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Soil work. Does that mean you pooped his pants? Maybe. <laughs> Iron Maiden. Yeah. Another one of these psychotic. Psychotherapy. Psycho Eden's Curse. Ah, Eden's Curse. One Direction. One Direction, Ozzy, Catechism, Joan Jet, Exodus, okay. Stone Sour, Dua Loop, Loop Yeah. and Nikki Six is 6 a.m. The oh. hits. That's right. All right. Pink Floyd, Deftones, oh. Arctic Monkeys. Self-explanatory. Works out of the movie. <laughs> 21 Pilots. Crazy Horse, that must be Neil Young. Yep. The Strokes and the Talking Heads. Ah, nice, nice. Rock by Baby. And another really cool, trippy thing. Yeah. yeah. What you working with? Tyler He's Creative, Pink yeah. Floyd, Metallica, Pink Floyd, Iron Maiden, ACDC, and there's two. Uh, Rokes. Yeah. Eagles. Tool. T Rex. Adele. Fleetwood Mac. Lamb of God. Uh, Slayer. 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 Paramore. Uh, Digital Planets. Nice. Strokes. Taylor Swift. Yep, Taylor Swift. Love a. <laughs> Adele. All right. What you working with, Shona? Iron Maiden. Van Halen. One Direction. Aerosmith, Big L, Quiet Riot, Billy Joel, Ozzy, more Ozzy, Quiet Riot, Gojira. Cool. You want to grab that box so you can start with that while we finished up that last stack? Did you already go through those, Santa? Those are done, yeah. All yeah. right, one more stack of CDs. Metallica, Dangerous Toys. Hold on. Aerosmith, Judas Priest. Nothing safe. No, Alice, Alice in Chains. Yeah. Judas Priest. Nice. Lamb of God. Alice in Hell. Nope. <laughs> Annihilator. I just like Alice in Hell. Mm -hmm. Aerosmith. Cheap Trick. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Dead Kennedys. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Carcass. Colvera Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Ginger, Bad Company, and The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, nice, nice. What you working with? Pops. All right, crack a woman real quick. I think this one's ticker. And everybody get ready to do this flip through next with the records. Tigger? This is a fact tigger. Oh, look at this tigger, though. This is a different type of tigger. It's a holiday tigger. 
That's cool. <gasps> Eeyore's so cute. Well, I don't yeah. got a Eeyore. Oh, man. It could be all Tigger. Nope, that's a Navy female, and that's Tigger below. Tigger all right, who wants to start this off? I'll start. I know these. Ideas. All right, let's hit it. We have it. some Black Label Society. And Black Label Society. Yeah. Black Label Society. Yeah. Uh, this was a transpotting. I had to look down there. Creator. Uh, King Crimson. Uh, Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Uh, Twitching Tongues. Interesting. Uh, Stevie Nicks. Bouncing Souls. Uh, Paul McCartney. Uh, strokes. The strokes. I had to think about that one. Cage the Elephant. And another Cage the Elephant. And then this. We got a lot of credence. All credence. All credence. Very, very cool. You ready? Yeah. What Black Label Society. Cool. Black Label Society. White Zombie. Uh, Stevie Nicks. Cause and Conflict. Uh -huh. 21 Pilots. Gojira. King Crimson. Slayer. Ice Nine Kills. Sturgill Simpson. More credence. Cool. Oh no, some cute little chicky with violet eyes. Childish Gambino, Perfect Circle, Wiz Khalifa, Bohemian Rhapsody, 21 Pilots, Deaf Proof, Kin, and Saxon. All right, you ready? Yeah. What you working with? Kitsy Ghosts, Queen, Jimi Hendrix, Paul McCartney, Eagles, Wiz Khalifa, Ice Nine Kills, Ice Nine Kills, The Weeknd, Eminem. Uh, CCR, CCR, Mr. Bungle, Slash, uh, Scorpions, uh, Twitching Tongues, Nas, The Sonics, CCR, Green Day. Say anything? Yes. <laughs> and CCR. Very cool. Then we got some other little stuff. Yeah. But you know what I need now? A pole. All right, hit it. A pole. A pole. <laughs> Let's see. That's All it. Right. But you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I pooped myself. What you working with? Strokes. This okay. is cool. Do you know it? I don't know this one. I do know the strokes, though. But that, co good that cover made you pick it, huh? It did, yes. It's I understand. Cover. It's like the crazy looking crow it thing. It is. <laughs> I totally get it. I give it an eight and a half. Okay. I love okay. it. Okay. What you working with? Yeah, but I give that a ten. That was like <laughs> cheating. That was totally cheating, right? Saying totally. You agree. It's in every row. You agree, right? <laughs> what you working with? Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. Do you, are you familiar with this album? Yes, I am. It's a fantastic album. It was out on CD for a long time before, right? Yeah, I don't know. This one and the one that they just also redid. I don't know if this is the first time they're on vinyl. I know they've been on CD, but I don't know about the vinyl. Yeah. All right. They, they, they probably had a, an exclusive one at the shows that was available, probably. and that was it. So, let me know down below who you would pick, because me, you know I'm going with CCR. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, are you kidding me? That was like a setup. <laughs> but who would you pick if you could only have one of these three albums? Would you pick The Strokes? Would you pick CCR? Or maybe even Ice Nine Kill getting released on Friday? Yeah. Boom! Aliens. What you working with? Food. Food? What kind of food do we get I today? Got big ziti and a good ton of garlic bread. Big ziti. Got some garlic bread. I already took mine. What you got? Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Enjoy those balls. All right, all right. Very good. Aliens, you know what I got? What? I got big ziti. That's Why right. Why you keep saying that? <laughs> okay, okay, it's ravioli. You can't even tell, though. <laughs> Listen, even when she went to order it, I said the wrong thing. But I ended up getting exactly what I wanted. And so we're, we're huh? having a feast. Since, you know, there's no Stephanie today. Ha ha! So, Rihanna. Yes. You really wanted this Ice Nine Kills record, didn't you? Yes. Oh, so you know what you owe me for this, right? A review. A record review. Do you want to help review? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Let's you, do it. All right, all right. So, so we, we got a couple of reviewers today. Yes. Reviewing the same exact album. Yes. And this happens to be... The indie exclusive, because it will be her copy. Yes. We only have a limited amount of indie exclusives, and if it's limited to, what did it say, a thousand? Two thousand. To two thousand. I don't know how long they're going to be in stock. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you crack it open? She's unboxing the Ice Nine Kills. What's the name of the album? Uh, the Silver Scream 2, Welcome to Horrorwood. The Silver Scream 2. Now, That's we a did... a horror buzzwords in one title. Yes. I like it. <laughs> now, <laughs> they yeah. did have the Silver Scream... One. one. Yes, that was really good. Yes, and we sold a whole bunch of it. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. I'm, I'm interested to see. Ooh, nice printed uh, inner yes. sleeve. Yeah. 
Whoa. Clear. 100% clear. I was yes. almost going to say, where is it? Evidence. <laughs> okay. Now, before we even get started, what could you tell me about Ice Nine Kills? Oh, they're horror metal. Horror? I think they're considered horror punk because there's no horror metal, but they're horror metal. <laughs> okay. Okay. And what band do you think uh, most associates with them for the people oh, listening? Oh, I have no idea. You, you know how I would... Have you ever heard anything from Ice Nine Kills? I haven't yet. Otherwise, I could help. <laughs> okay. Have you heard anything from Ice Nine Kills? No, just the other album. Okay. Now, I have heard Ice Nine Kills before, yes. haven't I? Yes. In the car today. Now, I gotta <laughs> say, they're a little bit harder of a My Chemical Romance, Welcome to the Black Parade. Just a little bit harder, because they're, they're metal. Yeah. Pretty much. And My Chemical Romance is like emo-ish... Hmm. Yeah, I just MCR, closer. okay. Yes, yeah, there you go. Emo's all grown up and still yeah. angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's see the inner sleeve. Very cool. Nice, it's all like an evidence file. Yeah, that's what they did with the whole release of it. it was the whole, the thing, whole thing. thing, yep. Okay, because very, um, very Spencer, cool. Spencer, he's a singer. It's a whole thing about him um, murdering his fiance. Yeah, uh -huh. I can see that, like that because like over here it says the shower scene, funeral. And it's something, all it's all based on day. horror movies now, and horror cool. novels. I have got to see what the gatefold looks like, mm. and also the other sleeve to make sure that it matches. It is a two LP. It is a gatefold, yeah. Nice. Oh, it has an insert. Ooh, lyric sheet. Thanks and stuff. Sheet. Credit. Some names have been changed to protect the innocent. Mm. What? Okay, so like a credit sheet, very, very cool. Oh, Psychos Only will fit right in. Yes. <laughs> it's got the little thing, very cool. All right, hell of an inner, inner this sheet. This is the second one. Very cool. Nice. Different scenes. All right. Now, record same color? Yeah, it should be clear. LP, it yeah. should both be clear. Very cool. I couldn't see it again, so yes. <laughs> All right. Now let's play it and yes. review it. I'm ready. <clears throat> I got a very important question. What's your very important question? Did you have a chance to listen to this album? Yes, it was extremely good. Is this your first time ever listening to it? No. On vinyl, yes, but I've listened to the full album at least 20 times. Okay. <laughs> Is this your one and only time you've ever listened to this album? First time. First okay. time. I've never even heard the band before now. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Mm -hmm. Well, it's my first time with this album. All right. All right. In all fairness, just right off the bat, what would you grade this album? I also give it a 10. <laughs> I love this album. Wow, you give it a 10. There's not a bad song on the album. It's just fantastic. Okay. Okay. What are you what are you giving this album? <laughs> I'm I'm thinking at least an eight. Eight or eight to eight and a half from my, my first impression. From having never heard them before. It was a lot of fun. I liked all the horror themes. Uh and and a few songs rolled a little rolled together for me. Maybe on repeat listens that would be a little different, but Good first impressions. Really what good. would be a 10 album? Just so they have something to compare it to. A 10. What is the perfect album in, in your life? Ooh, Christ. Mine's that, Credence. That, that, was, that was Queen's A Night at the Opera. Okay. That was beautiful from beginning to end. Okay. <laughs> One through 10. Seven and a half. Seven and it's a half. It's only my first listen. Okay. Well, that's the thing. We had to do it real quick yeah. in the middle of the store while people were shopping. Yes, it was real awkward. I love it. <laughs> it really was. I ended up apologizing to a gentleman. I'm like, I feel like I need to apologize to you. And I'm like, he, he was going for Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> right. Like, Here's yeah. to you, Mrs. Robinson. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no. Do you have a favorite song on this album? Yes, Ex Mortis. I love that song. That's one of my top songs played throughout the year. And the album only came out a month ago. And I spent over a thousand minutes listening to it. That song. Wow. <laughs> Flip it so everybody can see the names of the out uh, of the songs. The second record was definitely the better of the two. Mm, but I agree. Yeah, it, it's really good. Okay. Did you happen to have a favorite song? Um, Ex Mortis and The Box, I think, were my two favorites. I, I loved the build-ups and uh, the chorus to Ex Mortis. My God. It, no wonder you oh, listen to so that so good. many times. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head for weeks now. Okay. <laughs> did you have a favorite song? Of course I did. Hip to be scared. Ah, <laughs> there's a reason why hip to be scared. Mm -hmm. yeah. wait, wait until I get to my facts Come about on, this record. Come on, Papa Roach is on that song. Yeah. He has one line. It's three words. Yes, Papa Roach is on that song, the lead singer from Not Papa in the way you think. The <laughs> 
man. Yes, the front yes. Man. <laughs> but did you have a least favorite? If you had to say... Eh. Rainy Day, because it just wasn't when I was... I loved it when it first came out, but as I listened to it more, I got sick of it. It has more of an electronic sound to it. And I, I wasn't as in love with that song as everything else, but it was still a very good song. Was there anything off about it? Was there any particular song that you were like, eh? There was one. I can't remember the name of it, but it had a bit more of a dancey feel to it. I maybe wonder it if that to was... Be scared. I, I, maybe. Um, I, Shut I, up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't feeling that one quite as much. It was still good in its own way. And like I said, that one might grow on me too. Okay. Or my, just my first impression, video. I was like, it huh, will. okay. I mean, it's okay. a cluster of genres, the, this, this whole thing. Yeah, it yeah. absolutely is. Did you have a least favorite song? No! <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because when you're listening to it, each individual song is like a cinematic experience. Mm. Yes. True. That's exact. That's the whole thing behind this, yeah, right? Mine yeah. was a Resident Evil. That was Rainy Day, and it's a video game, so I'm not a video game person. So maybe mm. that's why I didn't appreciate it as much as other people. That's funny because I love Resident Evil, so <laughs> I, I really do need to revisit this now. <laughs> is this a, is this an album you listen to more than once? Um, yes. <laughs> you listen to more than once? Uh, not like yet. Once a day. But but I would. Oh, would you? I would now. You would. Yes. Okay. Would. Of course. <laughs> all right. All right. Now is the store music? No. <laughs> I would play it loud and proud. Oh yeah! Wow, yeah. That's, we would that's have nobody hours. in here. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> that's after, after I'd hours. I'd have all the people. That's when you here. need everyone to leave the store. <laughs> yes. <laughs> put that yes. So then you attract like a couple of the wrong let's people. Let's go. But, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that, right. that's when you play this ice nine kills. Yeah. Very, very cool. It is a follow-up album, isn't it? Yes. To yeah. the Silver Scream, which was also a fantastic album. Now we had. Sold probably 150, 200 copies of the Silver yeah, Scream mm -hmm. without me even realizing what it was, who it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about it. It was, the, it was the only album that we had from Ice Nine Kills for a long time on vinyl. Yep. Yeah, I don't think that's why I think the two that are coming out tomorrow, I think that's the first time they're on vinyl, at least for us to be able to order. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I've never seen them here before, and people ask about them all the time. So yeah. finally. Everybody's Christmas wishes and holiday dreams are being fulfilled yes. by Ice Nine Kills, yes. which is kind of crazy. Their Christmas merch is pretty cool. <laughs> is it? Yeah, actually. Yeah. I, and right. I now know why whenever I ask somebody what genre this was, they can never tell me. <laughs> what, what genre would really you like, consider this? Oh, it's Ooh. metal, but I consider it more horror metal. Mm -hmm. What about it, you? It would fit in the metal category, but yeah, it's such a weird mix of stuff. I felt like I was hearing like Fall Out Boy singer with like Gerard <laughs> Way's shrieking, but then with like double bass kicked in <laughs> coming in. And it was, uh, I think like baby metal was the last time I heard something that wild, uh, you know, where you just get all these different things together at once like that. Okay. Just really, really something. What genre would you consider this? Post metal. Post metal. Post, that's a good one. Okay, that, yeah. okay. I personally, as I was listening to it from the very beginning, mm -hmm. it sounds like a harder My Chemical Romance. It just does. I can see that in places. You know, sure. it, it's definitely it, harder than um, Three Cheers, Sweet Revenge, and Bullets. It's definitely more their early oh, yeah. stuff where they were harder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It fits in with one of my favorite bands, Motionless and White. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would, I, that, I would classify yeah. them you very close. You can definitely close. see that, that yeah. similarity. But would you like to hear facts about Ice Nine Kills? Yes. Bring it. All right. I wrote down some facts because I'm crazy and I'm not going to remember everything I write. I'm just saying. <laughs> Who was? They're an American heavy metal band from Boston, Massachusetts, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. To date, they have three EPs and six full-length studio albums. Their band name comes from a Kurt Vonnegut book, Cat's Cradle. Ice Nine was a fictional substance. So oh, I would have never known that No, one. <laughs> no, well, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I got these right. from uh, Wikipedia, their page, mm -hmm. and several other places on the internet. It wasn't just all out of one little spot. Okay. The band formed in the year 2000. Yeah. They were high school friends. Yeah. Um, not all of them, just the two, the lead singer and I believe the guitarist. Yeah. Um, they, they had a Kickstarter, which was pretty cool. In 2012, raising 21000 for their EP, The Predator. Wow. Now, I thought that was a pretty cool fact because, I mean, to get a Kickstarter yeah. for an EP, yeah. I mean, they're, they're literally telling you, we're going to make an EP with this money, guys. Mm -hmm. And to raise $21,000 on Kickstarter, it's a hell of a yeah, thing. Yeah, that's like Marillion levels. Though. That's really good. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. And that EP was released January 15th, 2013. They played Warp Tour, opened for a bunch of different newer bands, like Suicide Silence, Dance Gavin, Dance, Abandon All Ships. And there's 
10 tons of other bands as yeah. well that they opened up for and they're still they're currently touring. Yeah, they were just here they're recently. Headlining. Yeah. yeah, now they're headlining. Yeah. It's a big difference. Mm -hmm. But they they earned their, their way. Mm -hmm. I'll put it like that. They opened up for a bunch of different bands, which was pretty cool. Now for facts on Ice Nine Kills. <sighs> the Silver Scream 2. What? Welcome to Horrorwood. Very cool. I'm going to give you these facts now on the actual album, which is kind of... Unusual. This is one of these things. It all it all reads pretty uh, quickly. The album was released October fifteenth this year. Yeah. So I mean, what the, the heck? I mean, yeah, you got to put this out in October. That's yeah. I mean, <laughs> exactly. On. I mean, it's horror metal, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the first music video was "Hip to Be Scared." Yeah, yeah. So and I I know. I already know. Go ahead. Is the Hue Huey Lewis in the news? Mm. Hit to be scared. Hit to be squared. <laughs> okay, okay. It was released July 9th and currently has 2.6 million views. The video started the storyline. Yeah, mm. it's with American Psycho, but it's a whole murder scene. It's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Papa Roach, Papa Roach. Nice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she really is a Papa Roach fan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this yeah. another band like Ghost where they give you little bits of lore every time that they uh, put out a new video or something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But it all goes in a theme, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's fun. So you have to watch that first video in order to get to the second video. So you watch Hip to be Scared, mm -hmm. and then you have to watch Assault and Batteries, which is inspired by the original movie... Child's play. Uh huh. Yeah, that you can you can definitely tell when you hear the song. It was so good. It's, yeah. Now, did you enjoy the second video? Yeah, I, I've seen. I believe them all, but the second one I definitely loved. It was what I tried watching Chucky. I couldn't do it. It involved lawnmower. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Oh, oh, you don't like lawnmower horror? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I don't like lawnmowers. Yeah. All right. You know, those movies get way less scary as they go along. Each one is a little sillier than the yes. last. They, yes. they became comedy by like the third or fourth one, I think. All like, right, now. The fourth one. On August 9th, the story continued with Assault and Battery, inspired by Child's Play. I read that one. Number four. Once again on September 9th, they continued with Rainy Day, inspired by Resident Evil game series. Okay. That's right. I mean, it's, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. Then the final single was released. Funeral Disarrangements, inspired... That awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite song for a while. <laughs> inspired by the book Pet Cemetery. Uh, you know, Stephen King. Yep. I mean, come on. But the book, not the movie, the book. Mm -hmm. There is so a that, difference. <laughs> so that's what makes it absolutely epic. Nice. I gotta say, hell of an album. Yeah. If you're... Probably if, never playing here again, but... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on with me. Yeah, yeah no, that, that's exactly. her copy. That, that's why I was like... Yeah. Oh no, she she wasn't getting away with taking another yeah. record from me without giving that's us a That's why review. she didn't open the gatefold, because she knew that was the one she was taking. That's exactly <laughs> it. And yeah. she's like, look, Dad, the gatefold matches the, the inner yeah. sleeve, yeah. so yeah, it is what it is. Anybody have anything else to add? Whole thing's just awesome. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to more. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll crack open another one. Mm. You know, uh, some year. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if the store's ever 100% empty, we could turn around and... Yeah. No, because then nobody's coming in. Right, See, they, they're just, just going to stay happen. out if you do that. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. We're, we're, we're even 86 in Metal Night just because, you know, one of those things where people are like... It gets rough. Mm -hmm. It does get rough. Then all of a sudden you got grandma coming in here and you're like, oh man, I hope it's metal grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's always that moment you put something like that on, that's when someone like that comes in. And that, you're like, ah, oh, every time. That's the truth. Yeah. That Every is time. the truth. I mean, you've seen it already, right? Yes, I have. All right, all right. So that was our review of Ice Nine Kills. Welcome to Harwood. Silver Scream right. 2. That's <laughs> right, that's right. Silver Scream 2. Hey, Rihanna, I got a very important question. Yes. What is getting released tomorrow? This whole row. This whole row? Yes, it's a ton of Black Label Society. Wait a minute. Black, what do you know about Black Label Society? Zach Wild. <laughs> 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 yes, he yes. just aired That's all you need to know. <laughs> all right, all right. Every song is just a long 20 plus minute guitar solo from Zach Wild. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you're just in the mood for that kind of thing. Yes. I, <laughs> I saw them open for Judas Priest and like my friends were texting like, yeah, he's still doing a solo like 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it was fun though that's the thing but that, that's what you expect that's, that's what you came for exactly yes, yes <laughs> that's no, all, absolutely that's all you need black label society mafia 
Black Label Society. Finally getting released. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. More Black Label Society, stronger than that. All right. Then we got Ice Nine Kills to the Predator Becomes the Prey. Is that like a vampire themed? No, the whole thing's with horror movies, so that's just the cover that they chose because it was freaky. Ah, okay. Okay. So we got a bunch of those. Then we got more Ice Nine Kills, every trick in the book. I love that cover. That's a good cover. That is a good cover. Makes me want to buy it. Then we got Ice Nine Kills. This is the indie exclusive. It's limited to 2000. It's clear vinyl like we showed off in the reveal. Very cool. And Still. Hold on. And we got VHS black vinyl. All right. Which is the same album, but that's the normal version. And then we got Garbage Beautiful, which is their seventh studio album. Beautiful garbage. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. garbage. Is that not the most beautiful garbage you've It ever seen? really is. Look, there's <laughs> roses in the garbage. I love it. Master from the original tapes. So I don't want to hear this. It's digital garbage. Mm, mm. Boy, Just, 90s revival. Bring right? It. Bring it. But it is a brand new album from Garbage. Yes. yes. Nope. You know, it was, released, going. it was released this year. Mm -hmm. So new songs. New songs. Yep. From Garbage. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> yeah, hey. people don't know it, but they're still going strong. I love the old school garbage. Yeah. So I know oh, I know 90s, I'm making fun of them a little bit. Did. Everybody did. But uh, yeah, I'm something no, no. of a garbage person myself. I, I, I hear you. I understand. I mean, yeah. you know. But those are getting released tomorrow. Yes. That is what we have in stock for the beautiful releases. Half it is Black Label Society. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What you doing? Pulling a record and standing here. Ah, you're taking your Ice Nine Kills home. Yes. Congratulations on your new review. Thank you. It was pretty epic, <laughs> I must say. Right? Great. Hell of I a video. Leave with nothing. <laughs> mm, you got a bottle of water. And a, yeah, okay, I got water. I mean, That's come something. on. That's something. Look at her. She's living with dinner and a yeah. Rolling Stones poster. I mean, what? Good life. What you got? What you got in the box? Garlic bread. Oh, oh, okay, okay. What are we gonna do now? Now we're gonna thumbs ups and subscribe. <gasps> subscribe. <gasps> subscribe. <gasps> subscribe. Subscribe. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. So you have video like this every once in a while. No, you do it all the time. I mean, no, this is the round world. All the time. Uh, man, you know, I mean. from listening to her favorite album. I'm Come just on. saying. I mean, when you do <laughs> good, you get good. <laughs> and just remember, don't drop. <laughs> Who are you dragging me and why? <laughs> Squishville hot dig. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Alien. What do they got though? The world wants to know. This they got is a baby shark. Doo -doo. Oh, look at this thing. Yes. Alien.